in this lesson, we'll cover the final piece of the puzzle in regards to the use effect hook, and that is the cleanup function. So as we know, the use effect hook accepts a function as its first argument. We can see an example right here, and we can see an example right here. So from within that function, we can return another function as the final return value. And in that function that we return, we can perform what is called cleanup. And what cleanup basically is, is removing or destroying anything that we created. So there's not so much of an example of that right here in our second effect, but as we saw in the previous lesson, there is a perfect example right here in our first effect. So we create an interval when we run this effect for the first time in our component. And so what we want to do when the component unmounts is to remove the interval. Now, an important thing worth noting about this cleanup function is it doesn't just run when the component unmounts, it runs whenever the previous effects function is terminated. And that is an important difference that I will showcase to you a little bit later. But for now, let's take a look at the syntax we're going to need. So the first thing I want to do for my first effect is assign this set interval functions return value to a const called interval. So just like we saw in our playground a few lessons ago, we have a reference to this interval object. And so in order to terminate the interval, we want to pass that interval object to clear interval, like so. The only problem, of course, with this code is if we run this code right now, then React will run this effect when the component renders. So it's gonna create an interval, but before that interval will even have a chance to run, it's going to be passed to clear interval and deleted or terminated. So the time is not going to update. So we're not really gonna solve our problem because the actual clock is not going to work, okay? So what we need to do is run this logic but when our component is being unmounted, which is also when this effect is being cleaned up. So as I mentioned, from this function that we pass to use effect, we can return our own function. So right here, I'm going to return an arrow function. And what React knows in its internals is if the function that we pass to use effect contains a return value of a function, it knows to run this whenever the component is being unmounted or whenever the effect is being removed. For now, we can forget about that specific side scenario and just think about component unmounting. So you can think about what do we want to do when the component unmounts? And what I want to do when the component unmounts is to clear the interval. All right, so let me refresh this page. We can once again see that everything is going to run for a couple seconds until we're going to unmount. And that is again coming from our index.js. However, whenever the component unmounts, that is when React knows to run this cleanup function. And at that point, we are clearing our interval. And at that point, this logic is no longer running, which means we are no longer going to have this console log. So if I open up my console right here and go here, we can see that the timer has stopped. In fact, let me show it to you completely in action. So I'm going to clear this and refresh the page. Once again, we're going to have about five seconds while this interval is running. Then the component unmounts which means React knows to run this cleanup function, and it's going to run every cleanup function, by the way, in any effect that you have, if you provide one. And it is in that cleanup function that we clear the interval. So this logic from a JavaScript perspective is done, which means we are no longer running this function over and over again every one second. So we're no longer seeing the console logs. So basically the way this works is in your use effect function, you're going to perform some logic. And if you need to clean up any bit of that logic, then you return another function and in the body of that function, you clean up that logic, whatever it is. In this case, it's an interval, but as we mentioned earlier, it might be a database connection or a WebSockets connection. Basically, if you have any cleanup that you need to do, if you need to delete or remove something that may cause a memory leak if the component is removed from the screen, you do so in a function that you return from the function that you pass in to use effect. Okay, it can be a little bit confusing because now you kind of have to be uh, a capable enough JavaScript programmer to think in terms of functions, right? It's, it's a function that can also return a function, right? That's what we pass in to the use effect hook. And the React will run this logic and then queue this thing up to run whenever the effect is terminated. 
So with that said, the next thing I want to show you is that the function that we provide is going to run not just when the component unmounts, but when the previous effects function is terminated. So the best way to show you this example is going to be right here for our second use effect. So before we get there, there's a little bit of cleanup I want to do, and that is we no longer need this console log because that was just for the sake of example. So let's save that. And then in our index.js file, I no longer need to actually unmount. So right now we are back to our original component, which is great, but now we have also solved our memory leak problem. So we want to keep this code in our final uh, product, but otherwise our app from a user perspective works the exact same way. We are still able to filter the employees, all right? So coming back to this effect right here, as a reminder, one more time of how use effect works. Use effect will always run at least once after the component is initially rendered, and then it's going to run whenever a piece of state changes that we tell it it should monitor, right? So in this example, we have an empty array. So we told React that no piece of state changing should ever cause this effect to run again. So it's only gonna run once when the component initially renders, and then the cleanup logic is going to run whenever the component is unmounted. Here, our situation is different because we told React to rerun this effect whenever the search term piece of state changes. So we know that this is going to rerun each time. But an important thing to, to understand here is that every single time that this logic runs, React actually registers a new function. And it actually calls the cleanup function from the previous effect, okay? So right now in this function, we don't have a cleanup function. We're not returning a function like we are up here, but let's simulate that scenario. So right here, I'm gonna return an arrow function and all that it's going to do is console log hello from cleanup function in second effect. Okay, so let's also put a console log here that's going to say running effect. In fact, I have to move these two things below our fetch employees because that is where we are actually fetching our code, all right? So take a look at what is going on in our browser when I refresh. We're going to see running effect. So this console log has run, which means that React triggered this effect to run after the component's initial render. That should hopefully be expected. But notice that this console log from our cleanup function has not yet run. So what React has instead done is stored it in memory, almost queued it up to be run later. Right? It's the exact same thing that React did here. It stored this function for later use, knowing that it needs to run it when the component unmounts. React did the exact same thing here, so it still knows that it has to run this cleanup function at some point, right? but it's not gonna run it yet. So when is React going to run this cleanup function? Whenever a piece of state changes that triggers use effect to run again, then React will first run the cleanup function from the previous effect. And after that is done, then it will rerun the function from the top and in turn register a new effect. And it needs to run a new function each time because it needs a fresh reference to the piece of state that is being used within the effect. So remember right here, we are using our search term piece of state to generate the back end query. So if our search term is, for example, an empty string, we can't just rerun our old function that we passed to use effect because search term will still be an empty string and our query will not actually change. Instead, when search term changes, for example, when we type an M in here, React says, okay, run the cleanup logic from the last effect, then rerun this function or re uh, register it with search term now set to M. And then when we type another character like I, React says, okay, let me run the cleanup function from the previous effect, then rerun the effect again with search term now set to MI. The point is any piece of state that we have will trigger this effect to run again, but the way that's going to proceed is React is first going to run the cleanup function from the previous stored version of that effect function. And when that is done, that's when it's going to rerun the effect with a brand new function representing this logic. And once again, store the new cleanup function to be run at a later point. And that process continues with every single state change up until the component is unmounted 
at which point React runs the cleanup function one more time, and that's how everything is uh, resolved and, and cleaned up, right? In this example, there was no piece of state that would trigger this effect to run again. So React will only run this cleanup function when the component unmounts. That is the final kind of end all be all of the procedure. But it's important to note that right here, the situation is different, okay? And that's a very common point of confusion is people say, oh, this cleanup function will run when the component unmounts. That is correct, but that is not the full picture. The component, the uh, cleanup function will run whenever the previous effect is terminated and a new effect is registered in its place. And that will take place with whenever any piece of state changes. All right, so let me show you this in action. Once again, I'm gonna refresh. So we're going to see running effect. Then I'm going to type a character like M so what happens, we see that we first run hello from cleanup function in second effect. And that is coming from our first version of this function, the one that was registered after the component initially rendered. React stored that cleanup function, it ran it, then it starts from scratch running this effect. So here we have running effect being executed again, right? And at that point, React finishes the effect the second time and stores the cleanup function to be run the next time. So once again, when I type my next character like I, we run the cleanup function right here from our second stored version of that effect. Then we run the effect function a third time right here, and that's where we see running effect. And that continues all the way down. So each time we make sure we clean up anything left over from the previous effect up until the component amounts, at which point we perform one final cleanup. All right, and that is the last piece of the puzzle that you need to know about use effect perhaps one of the most confusing pieces of the puzzle, but hopefully it makes sense. The, the thing worth remembering from this lesson is this. From your use effect function, you can return a function. That function will specify what React should do whenever the previous effect is terminated. And the previous effect can be terminated one of two ways. Number one, a piece of state changes, which forces the effect to run again and register a new version of the effect function. Or number two, the component is unmounted. And whenever those two scenarios happen, React will run the former stored version of the cleanup function from the previous effect in order so that we can uh, perform any kind of logic that we need to do in order to clean up that old code. And then I'll rerun the effect again and register a new version of that cleanup function for next time, leading all the way up to the component's final unmounting from the DOM. All right, we do not need to return a function, right? If we have a scenario like here where we're just doing nothing but console logging, we don't need to return that function that cleans up anything. We only need it in scenarios like this one where there's actually some bit of logic that we need to clear up either on component on mount or as a direct result of the previous effect. All right, that's all there is to cover in this lesson. So I will see you in the next one.